Hi, welcome back to Genesis Custom Savers. And this quick video is just going to be the instructions for how to use the GCS Vector Saber now with Crystal Focus version 10 from Plector Labs. It's a very fun, very well balanced, very small, very durable saber to use. Uh, of course, it's available with NeoPixel like this one or with TriCree. For a video describing the differences of the two, just click the link in the video right now. Um, but it's a lot of fun to use this saber. So this video is going to show you how to operate it. Let's get started. Okay, to operate the Vector Saber, it's really quite simple. Um, you just uh, insert a blade. Of course, this is a NeoPixel, so this is my NPX2 Plector Pixel blade. Blade retention screw. You just tighten that so that the blade doesn't fly out and go through someone's window. This is the activation button. This is the auxiliary button. Of course, it's in sleep mode. There's no illumination. So I just press it once. It wakes it up from sleep mode, and you'll notice that the button's pulse um, dedicated button color. So uh, to activate the saber, that fires it up. The saber's now active and, and going. Um, the uh, auxiliary button is your, your blaster block, or your lockout button. Of course, you can tap both buttons at the same time to get into your spectrum. And now you can just turn the saber and dial in whatever color you want. And you can tap that button to select that color, or you can hold the button. Now you're in blade profiles. And again, you can turn the saber. You can go through all kinds of different blade profiles and different flickers and animations with the NeoPixel. And when you've got one that you'd like, you just tap the button to select it, or you can hold it again. Now you're back into color profiles and you can make any changes you want to the color profile. And of course it'll remember that when you're uh, back in that sound font. To change to a different sound font, you just hold the auxiliary button. Sound bank selection. Best. Now your sound bank selection. So you can toggle up Audio player, crystal focus. The, or down the list. Best. Select that font, hold it down. Now you can fire up in that sound font. Of course, you've got it comes with like 18 different sound fonts, and you can put more on there as well. You can order them all at saberfont.com. Now to get access to the inside of the saber, you just unscrew the pommel. That threads off really nicely. You want to work over a nice flat surface, and then the vector core just slides right out. Put your saber up out of the way. I do not permit you to use this saber in exposed mode like this. Uh, it's very durable inside the vector. Um, of course, you could possibly break something if you tried to use it like this. Uh, so I do not recommend using it when it's outside the saber. But it allows you to uh, remove the battery. You just grip it with your thumb and forefinger, pull the ribbon. The battery pops right out. You can put a fresh battery in like that. You always want to make sure that the positive end goes to the positive, negative goes to the negative. And of course, here is your Crystal Focus version 10 sound card. You can pop out the SD card, make changes to your saber. Pop it back in. Of course, when you pop it back in, you're going to need to reboot the Saber. Now, with the Crystal Focus version 10, you've also got a USB-C connector that's on the other side of the soundboard underneath the SD card connector. And with the, <coughs> with the, the Vector equipped with the Crystal Focus version 10, you've got uh, two rubber O-rings there that act as a, a kind of a shock proofing, but also allow you to gently pull up, gently pull up the soundboard just enough for you to get, let's see if I can get this the right way, for you to plug in your USB-C connector, plug the other end into your connector. Of course you want to be really gentle with this and don't put any pressure on that so you don't snap it off the soundboard. And then when you're ready you just unplug that and then you just make sure your soundboard is nice and rested in there perfectly. You'll know because when it comes time to put your saver back together, you line up the buttons but you also just make sure that your soundboard clears. You want to do that slowly and carefully. There's also some epoxy on there so there's no short circuits against the body of the saber if it does happen to move, but things line up beautifully. And then when you're ready, you just line up your buttons with the buttonhole. You can tell there's a little copper indicator in the pommel there and a little notch and they go together beautifully to keep everything perfectly lined up. And then you just thread your pommel on and you are ready to go. And this saber is certified for hard dueling so you can let it rip with this saber at your dueling club. So that's how to operate your GCS Vector Saber with Crystal Focus version 10. Thanks again for watching.